everybody, here we are again, um, it's a Woodford's Wherry. Very nice, but we're not here to talk about that. The taste test glasses out again. So, we're here to review the last of the Badger set that I've got for Christmas. This one is the Thirsty Ferret. Umbrail. So, commercial beer. But the other is, yeah, there's bits in that as well. It's not on the bottom. It's floating in it. It's not entirely sure it should be. It should be getting floaters. Not of commercial beer, but hey. Right, let's whack it in the glass. Not mess about, labels out. Not quite, but a little bit in the bottom as well. Uh, yeah, 4.4%. So. looks pretty clear. I must say, it didn't seem to be. Let's have a look. The glass is uh, getting a bit of condensation on it because it's just come out of the fridge. But that ain't clear, that's hazy. And yeah, and you can see. I don't know if you can see that, I don't know I can see it. There's bits floating about in that, that's hazy. That's a bit slightly poor for a commercial beer. Perhaps it's the new in the thing, you have floaty bits in your beer. If it was at a bar, I'd send it back. Right, I won't read the back yet. I was just looking to see if it says anything in this bottle condition. I don't think it does, unless it's in the really fine print. So, yeah, that's got a, a crystal malt aroma to it. That toffiness. Let's dive straight in. Mmm, nice. Slightly darker notes than I was expecting. There is the toffee crystal flavours. It's a bit cold really, it's only just come out of the fridge, I think I've said that. But I think there's a chocolatey note up front dies back into toffee from the crystal and I've not set my phone to airplane mode so it's going to ding away like nobody's business probably the clarity is not too bad but there is a distinct floaty bits in there. That's very nice. Um, some earthiness of hops. I'd say it's East Kent Goldings, Fuggles, something like that, hot wise. 
Nice cooler. A little bit of upfront sweetness. Just a very slight bitter twang. It's an amber ale, so you're not expecting it to be like a, a death bitter. But that is nice. I like that. Right. Let's see how wildly inaccurate I am. So I think there's... I think there might be a touch of chocolate malt in. Crystal malt. Whether it tells us or not. And something like East Kent Goldings for the hops. Right, let's look. Let's read the bump. Ferret comes from the Latin word for little thief. When they're about, you can be sure trouble's brewing. We still remember the night on uh, one such fury, ne'er do well, oh, sorry, furry, not fury, one such furry ne'er do well, tiptoed into the thatched gribble, right, sorry, into the thatched gribble inn and stole himself a taste of our tantalising tawny tipple. Loved for its full-bodied biscuity taste. I'm getting toffee, I'm not getting biscuit. Maybe right at the back end. Now then, What's Latin for little thief with great taste in beer? A Moorishly malty amber ale. Dark crystal malt delivers a full bodied biscuity taste. As I say, I'm, I'm getting. I, I got the fact that it was uh, crystal malt because there's toffee notes to that. I'm not really getting biscuity. Rounded off with subtle floral and lemon hop aroma. Mm. Doesn't sound like Eastern East Kent Golden though. I'm not getting lemon. I'm getting more earthiness than floral. No, I'm not getting biscuity, I'm not getting lemon hop aroma, aroma. Not taste. Not getting that. I'm going to take my glasses off again then. Beer, beer, beer. We want more beer. Oh, I'm cheering. Get the beer in. Please drink responsibly. Best before end. gone into foreign it's known but I can't read it. Um, yeah so there's nothing about it contains malted barley and sulfites. <coughs> Begging pardon. Content. Oh that's foreign here. Yeah. Oh if it's in foreign you've got to decide which which bits you can't read because it's too fine print and which bits you can't read because it's foreign. I don't know. Right, so there's nothing that says 
Expect quality bits in your beer. Perhaps you should send them an email. By the way, look back your beer. It's had floaty bits in. Should it have floaty bits in? I've reviewed it with floaty bits in. Have another look at that. Yeah. There's a light at the side. I don't know. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. But I can see. Huge floaty bits there. Here's. A hairs to the beer. Shouldn't have that. Not if it's proper commercial beer in my book. Shouldn't have it in home brewed beer. Mm. Maybe a little bit, but not, some, not as much. Certainly not as much. Tell some of it's on the glass, I think. Anyway, power cleanse. Mm. Yeah, there is a bit of biscuity note. Now it's warming up a bit. Yeah. There's more of a biscuit note now, it's warming up a bit. Right, hmm. Plenty of taste to it. Toppy notes, there's that upfront slight chocolatey note. And there is a biscuit taste coming through now. Still not getting any of that lemon. Well, that was aroma, it said, wasn't it? Yeah, lemon hop aroma. Subtle, subtle. It's that subtle. I can't detect it. Floral and lemon hop aroma. Does it need it? No. Nice beer. Yeah. I'd recommend that and it's at the proper sort of uh, percentage level 4.4 none of that giddy news juice nonsense right yeah so like comment subscribe see you next time cheers bye